Recommendations for sample collection and preservation in postmortem toxicology. General considerations. Minimize postmortem changes, store the body cool, ideally 4 degrees Celsius but not frozen, and perform the autopsy as soon as possible. Delaying analysis can lead to degradation of drugs and metabolites. Follow standardized protocols. Consistency in sampling and preservation methods is crucial for reliable results. Refer to established guidelines from organizations like the Society of Forensic Toxicologists, SOFT, or National Institute on Drug Abuse, NIDA. Document everything. Maintain detailed records of sample collection time, location, handling procedures, and storage conditions. Chain of custody documentation is essential for legal purposes. Specific sample recommendations. Blood. Collect 5 to 10 milliliters from two distinct peripheral veins, e.g., femoral, avoiding central vessels. Separate serum or plasma from blood cells for ethanol and volatile compound analysis. Add sodium fluoride, 0.5 to 2% W, V, to one blood sample to inhibit glycolysis and preserve ethanol. Store frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius or below. Urine. Collect a full bladder sample, if possible. Add sodium fluoride, 0.5 to 2% W, V, for ethanol preservation. Store frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius or below. Tissue. Collect representative samples from relevant organs and tissues, e.g., liver, kidney, brain, vitreous humor. For drugs with high tissue affinity, prioritize specific organs, e.g., lung for cocaine. Store frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius or below. Hair. Collect hair samples from different head regions close to the scalp to assess long-term drug use. Store at room temperature in a sealed container. Vitreous humor. Useful for detecting drugs shortly before death due to slow post-mortem diffusion. Collect with a sterile syringe and avoid contamination with blood or tissue. Store frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius or below.